Amir Khan tends to start fast. We know that. Barrett says he will be composed and he will just wait his moment and try and pick his shots. This could be another learning fight for Amir Khan. Remember that fight against Laszlo Komjati, the Hungarian, in uh, Belfast? Probably learned more on that occasion than in the rest of his fights put together. And Barrett was only just slightly off target with that right hook and Khan clipped by a left hand from Barrett as he came in allowing his left right glove just to drop a little. Amir Khan, huge potential but caught again by the right hand lead this time of Ryan Barrett who said if Khan goes to work at his body as he says he's threatened to do then uppercuts will be the key and he's ready to throw them. Well you know Barrett's up for this one obviously mentally big big test for him big big chance for him you know he's got the young hot prospect in front of him um, for Khan's part you know he's up against the southpaw so leading from the right-handed stance won't be something he will be, he will be too particularly accustomed to oh good shot from Khan terrific right hand blurring hand speed and Barrett down for only the second time in his career he picked that shot beautifully it was the speed and Barrett just did not see it coming well, you can then up for it all you like, but when you don't see the shot, it's difficult to stay on your feet. Great right hand, that one from Khan, who's now looking to take Barrett out in the first round. And he's gone down for a second time. If he could get this fellow out of here in this opening round, it would be an extraordinary result. Barrett has won nine of his last ten. He's ranked above Khan in the British rankings, and Khan has made absolutely the dream start. So he's down again. It's all over. Phil Edwards has said the fight is all over. The right hand putting Ryan Barrett down once again, and the first round knockout victory for Amir Khan. That was terrific. Amir Khan clearly has a huge amount still to go. He's got a long way yet, but he is making inroads at a pace. That will be his last six round fight. He'll step up in class in December. And there he's taken a capable young man, Ryan Barrett, who has been the distance with Martin Watson, who's a tough Scotsman in his last fight. That was a 10 rounder. He's come here and he has knocked him down with, first of all, this stunning right hand. He didn't see that. Johnny never even saw it coming. Carl was only really getting warmed up, warmed up and feeling his way through, but he just switched into the southpaw stance himself, landed a double right hand, and down went Barrett. And Barrett's quite a capable fighter. We saw him, as you've already said, against Martin Watson and, and uh, put up an, an absolutely valiant effort against him, but Carl just blown him away like he was nothing. There's the second knockdown. Cumulative effect of two or three shots to the head. And here from another angle, and this time the referee says, well, that's it. That's it. Barely caught breath, didn't we? We make it unofficially. One minute, 52 seconds. Nine out of nine for Amir Khan. They wanted it to be a celebration party. I'm sure a few people would have liked to have seen a bit more than that, but that was mighty impressive because on paper, Ryan Barrett, perhaps his best opponent to date. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 51 seconds of round number one, referee Phil Edwards has stopped the contest. In his opinion, Ryan Barrett was in no position to continue. Your winner, and now undefeated in nine professional contests, presenting from Bolton, Amir Khan. You cannot deny that he's box office. I still think this young fella is going to go all the way. It may take another year, it may take a little bit longer, but he was just too good for Ryan Barrett tonight. He'll be back in the ring in December, and who knows who it's going to be then, but I think that Khan will continue to progress for a few months ahead yet, and he will ultimately, perhaps even within the next three or four months, be driven towards championship action. Thank you, John. Thanks to Duke McKenzie as well. We will be right back to talk to Amir Khan. You're back with us at ringside at the uh, Bolton Arena. No place like home, Amir. He isn't, no. Um, I think it's just brilliant. Boxing at home, the people, the crowd here, 100% behind me, and I've just dedicated this fight to an old trainer of mine 
who passed away, Stephen Powell, and also I've got a cousin in London who's ill. He wanted to come to my